Despite the fact that it was once classified as a legitimate planet in our solar system, Pluto remains a captivating and perplexing dwarf planet far from Earth. New interest in Pluto has been sparked by the bold assertions made by respected astrophysicists, Michio Kaku and Neil deGrasse Tyson. They have suggested that Pluto's frozen world might be heading toward a terrible collision with Neptune, which has led to a lot of speculation about whether or not this is possible and what would happen if it happened. Is there legitimate cause for concern, or is this scenario merely an exaggerated theory? Let's look at what might happen if Pluto and Neptune collide. Due to its irregular orbit, Pluto was reclassified from a planet to a dwarf planet. In addition, this decision has remained a topic of ongoing debate in the astronomical community. Leading researchers have recently conducted research that suggests Pluto's orbital path dangerously intersects with Neptune's, raising concerns about the likelihood of a fatal collision due to their proximity in their respective orbits. Is it possible for Pluto and Neptune to collide? And if that's the case, what would that mean? There are no other planets in our solar system that travel around the sun like Pluto. Pluto has not completed even one complete orbit since its discovery in 1930 due to its complex 248-year orbit. However, the peculiarity of Pluto's orbit does not end there. In contrast to the nearly circular orbits of most other planets, it travels in an elliptical path. Pluto's orbit is tilted 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane, making its trajectory significantly steeper than that of other planetary paths. This further complicates matters. The intersection of Pluto's orbit with Neptune's is a particularly intriguing feature. Contrary to the usual positions of these two planets in our solar system, Pluto moves closer to the Sun than Neptune for about 20 years on each of its long orbits. This raises the crucial question of why Pluto and Neptune have not yet collided. The powerful gravitational forces exerted by other objects in the solar system provide the solution. Astronomers quickly recognized the peculiar orbit of Pluto after it was found. Pluto's steep angle and elliptical trajectory were starkly different from those of the other planets, whose orbits were nearly flat. When scientists discovered that Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's, the complexity of its path became even more apparent. Due to the gravitational pull of other celestial bodies, Pluto's orbit has remained surprisingly stable in spite of these unconventional characteristics. The goal of the three-body problem in celestial mechanics is to figure out how Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun interact and move. Because even small changes in its initial conditions can result in significant alterations to its trajectory over extended periods, Pluto's path through space can be erratic. However, simulations have shown that Pluto's orbit has remained constant over long periods of time, suggesting that its path is not as chaotic as it might appear at first. Pluto's orbit has remained stable for billions of years thanks to Jupiter's significant gravitational pull. Our solar system's overall order is essential to these forces, as is preventing any potential chaos. It is essential to acknowledge the inherent difficulties in predicting the movement of celestial bodies, particularly those with irregular orbits. Despite the fact that Pluto's orbit demonstrates an intriguing balance of stability and chaos, long-term predictions are uncertain because numerical simulations emphasize the unpredictability of space events, despite the fact that they can provide useful insights. Although astrophysicists like Tyson and Kaku's concern about a possible collision between Pluto and Neptune may seem far-fetched, the general public has paid attention to their warnings. Our solar system may suffer irreparable harm if such a collision occurs. Pluto's demise is likely to result from the massive amount of energy released by the impact. The resulting debris could be dangerous to Earth and other nearby planets and their moons due to its small size and icy composition. A collision between Pluto and Neptune would have consequences that extended beyond Pluto alone. Depending on the nature of the collision, Neptune's atmosphere and orbit could be drastically altered. The renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku offers a unique perspective on this issue. 
Understanding Pluto's orbit could provide valuable insights into the physics that govern space exploration, according to his extensive research into string theory and celestial mechanics. We can learn crucial information for upcoming space missions by examining the gravitational interactions that shape Pluto's orbit. Scientists might be able to use this information to better prepare for potential threats in space and to explore more distant parts of the solar system and beyond. The study of other trans-Neptunian and dwarf planets is also impacted by the principles derived from Pluto's orbit. We are reminded that space is far more dynamic and unpredictable than we frequently perceive due to Pluto's complex orbit, which challenges our understanding of planetary motion. Understanding how planets and other celestial bodies interact is crucial, as the connection between celestial mechanics and string theory demonstrates. If Pluto and Neptune collide, it could be a turning point in cosmology and provide a unique opportunity to test the predictions of string theory in extreme conditions. The behavior of elementary particles and forces at high energy levels, a major focus of string theory, could be studied through this collision, which would release a lot of energy. Due to Earth's distance from the rest of the solar system, the impact on Earth would probably be negligible, but the broader scientific implications would be significant. A collision of this kind would open up new avenues for the investigation of the fundamental nature of the universe, particularly in the fields of string theory and theoretical physics. Astronomers and space enthusiasts alike are still captivated by Pluto's unusual orbit, and the ongoing debate regarding whether or not it is a dwarf planet has rekindled interest in its place in our solar system. Understanding gravitational influences and orbital mechanics is crucial, as Tyson and Kaku's concerns highlight the complex forces governing the motions of celestial bodies. Understanding the dynamics of our solar system and the ongoing debate regarding Pluto's status as a planet depends on these forces. The elliptical orbit and steep inclination of Pluto defy conventional planetary motion models. During its lengthy journey around the Sun, Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's at specific sh points, in contrast to the nearly circular paths that its neighbors follow. Pluto's orbit has remained relatively constant over centuries as a result of the gravitational forces exerted by Neptune and other planets. Despite this, it is still difficult to predict how celestial bodies will act in the future. The inherent unpredictability of planetary Dynamics is brought to mind by the possibility of a collision between Pluto and Neptune. The gravitational interactions between Pluto and Neptune demonstrate the delicate balance that exists within our solar system, despite the fact that such an event appears highly unlikely to occur anytime soon. Future space missions can learn a lot from Pluto's study, which also helps scientists learn more about planet evolution and other far-off bodies. During its historic 2015 flyby, NASA's New Horizons mission, which was launched in 2006, provided groundbreaking images and data of Pluto and its moons. This mission improved our comprehension of the processes that shape this far-off world by revealing fascinating details about Pluto's surface, such as extensive water, ice, and frozen nitrogen plains. The technological advancements and collaborative efforts required to explore the outer reaches of our solar system were made clear by the New Horizons mission's success. Scientists learned a lot about the variety of celestial bodies and the conditions in the solar system's outermost regions. By studying Pluto and its moons, these discoveries provide scientists with additional information about the formation and evolution of planets which is important for future missions to other far-off dwarf planets and trans-Neptunian objects. The reclassification of Pluto as a dwarf planet has sparked important debates about how we define celestial bodies in our solar system. These debates reflect larger concerns about scientific classification and how our understanding of astronomy is developing. As we move further into the outer reaches of the solar system, studying Pluto's orbit provides crucial insights into the this mechanics of the universe and the dynamics of planetary systems. Our understanding of the formation and evolution of planetary systems continues to grow as we investigate Pluto's interactions with Neptune and other celestial bodies.
The discovery of Pluto and subsequent research have significantly improved our comprehension of planetary motion and the development of the Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune populated by small icy bodies. Future space missions aimed at discovering potentially habitable worlds outside of our solar system will benefit greatly from knowing more about the gravitational interactions that may have shaped the early solar system by understanding Pluto's orbit. The study of these celestial bodies serves as a reminder of the universe's ever-changing nature, despite the fact that a collision between Pluto and Neptune remains extremely unlikely. The study of planetary orbits and celestial mechanics will continue to play a central role in our efforts to explore beyond our solar system. The complexities of planetary motion and the forces that shape celestial bodies over time can be learned from Pluto's unique orbit. The universe's unpredictability is brought to mind by the ongoing investigation of Pluto's orbit and its interactions with Neptune. We learn more about the cosmos and the mysteries of distant worlds with each new theoretical model and discovery. The study of Pluto's orbit not only helps us learn more about this far-off world, but it also helps us predict how the stars will behave in the future, which helps us learn more about the forces that control our solar system and the universe as a whole. In conclusion, despite the fact that a collision between Pluto and Neptune is highly unlikely, it highlights the universe's dynamic nature. Insights into the workings of the universe can be gained by investigating Pluto's orbit, its interactions with Neptune, and the gravitational forces at work. Our models of planetary systems are getting better, and our ability to anticipate future cosmic events is improving as we continue to investigate these far-off bodies. There is no end to the possibilities for discoveries in this field. Additionally, our capacity to investigate and comprehend the vast, ever-evolving universe will also improve as technology advances. For many years to come, our comprehension of the universe will continue to be shaped by our investigation of Pluto's orbit and its place in the solar system. The unique orbital behavior of Pluto and its interactions with Neptune have long been a topic of fascination and intrigue for scientists. Pluto continues to challenge our understanding of planetary dynamics despite its designation as a dwarf planet. The intricate nature of gravitational mechanics in our solar system is made clear by the fact that Pluto's orbit does not come to a collision with Neptune's at any of the various points where it does. The resonance between Pluto and Neptune is one of the most fascinating aspects of the planet's orbit. This resonance, which is also known as a 3-2 orbital resonance, means that Neptune completes three orbits around the Sun for every two orbits of Pluto. Despite crossing paths, the two bodies never get too close because of this carefully coordinated relationship. Pluto and Neptune are essentially locked in a cosmic dance in this resonance, with their orbits set up so that they never collide. Celestial mechanics, precision, and balance can be seen in this one-of-a-kind gravitational relationship. In order to keep Pluto and Neptune in a stable orbit, the gravity of Neptune and Pluto work together. Pluto's orbit could have been disrupted without this resonance, which could have resulted in a collision or other significant alterations to its trajectory. Astronomers need to know this interaction because it shows how celestial bodies can stay, stable even when their paths look chaotic at first glance. Furthermore, a treasure trove of icy bodies and dwarf planets can be found in the Kuiper Belt, which extends beyond Neptune. Pluto's orbit provides useful information about the conditions in this faraway region of the solar system, and it is the largest known object in this belt. The Kuiper Belt objects, KBOs, and the trans-Neptunian objects, TNOs, are remnants from the early solar system. By studying these objects, we are able to get a glimpse into the conditions that existed when the solar system was formed billions of years ago. NASA and other space agencies are now directing missions to investigate these far-off regions. During its 2015 flyby of Pluto, NASA's New Horizons mission gathered unprecedented information about Pluto's atmosphere and surface. The complex weather system, frozen nitrogen plains, towering ice mountains, and other findings from this mission point to Pluto's geological activity. 
Additionally, it demonstrated the diversity of the dwarf planet's moons, shedding light on the formation and evolution of moons in the outer solar system. The New Horizons mission also demonstrated the expanding capabilities of contemporary space exploration. Not only do such missions improve our understanding of far-off celestial bodies like Pluto, but they also lay the groundwork for more ambitious explorations of the Kuiper Belt and other regions. The success of this mission has rekindled interest in exploring these remote areas, which may lead to similar missions to other belt objects. Pluto's eccentric and tilted trajectory also raises questions about the solar system's long-term dynamics, despite the apparent stability of its orbit. Astronomers have a fascinating puzzle to solve when they compare Pluto's orbit to the nearly circular orbits of the eight major planets. The fact that Pluto's orbit is inclined and elliptical serves as a reminder that our solar system is not as orderly as it may appear at first glance. Our understanding of the formation and evolution of planets could be profoundly affected by Pluto's chaotic orbit, 